Marto, the owner and founder of 12 Music and Studios. Amen Jordan and I moved to Atlanta when I was five. I grew up in Marietta. I went to Oglethorpe University, studied communications. How did you get your start in the industry? I actually got my start in the industry by being a singer and a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Then I realized I wasn't that good on the creative side, so I went over to the business side. I started a PR firm in college and then I met L.A. Reid and he handpicked and hired me to work with him at Island Def Jam. So what was that experience like being chosen at such a young age? How old were you when you got chosen? I was 21 when L.A. hired me to work with him on his A&R team at Island Def Jam, and I was the executive assistant to the late, great Shakira Stewart. Rick Ross has made 12 the MMG headquarters in Atlanta. I also have Epic Records housed here and Empire Distribution. All these relationships were built from my over 15 years in the music business. I didn't just wake up and start a studio. I literally never uh, marketed the studio. We never did any advertising. Everybody that's been in the studio has been from my relationships that I've built through the year. 12 is the first studio to receive a proclamation from the city of Atlanta, and it was such a big honor for me. Shout out to Kwanzaa Hall. It was just such a blessing, and that's when I got to announce my partnership with Rick Ross with our publishing company. So you always say being a woman gets you in the door faster. Um, and But what you know keeps you there. Did you find it difficult to gain respect in the beginning? I think it's always more difficult for women in any industry, but especially in a male-dominated industry. So yes, it was, it was more difficult for me to get not my foot in the door, but to gain the respect from other my peers and from everybody else. And I think women just have to work three times harder than men. I do talent management mm -hmm. and artist development. I have some great artists like Ink from Vintage Nation, Hafna Guab, and Brenda, who signed to Def Jam. I'm just doing a lot of work with a lot of great creative people. So you opened 12 studios in 2012, and you've accomplished so much. Let's Can you talk about um, your inspiration for opening 12 studios? The inspiration for 12 was, well, really, I came up with the name because it's numerology, and 12 represents faith, divine order, and perfection. And so when I was leaving Island Def Jam, I was leaving um, having a, a secure check in a major corporation and kind of stepping out in, on faith and starting my own business where I really wanted to focus on developing talent where a lot of labels and publishing companies now don't really develop anymore. And so that was kind of my inspiration to kind of make it feel like a family culture in here. We're, we're all, we all work together. We all love working together. So uh, we all just help each other grow. I really love the process of starting something from the beginning and then growing it and, and developing a huge career from like it. The whole journey of that process. I just really believe real leaders create other leaders. I'm very, very um, excited and, and honored to be helping people in their lives and in their careers and kind of helping them become the leaders that they want to be. 